In this podcast, we're going to look at entering grades for a course in the MyJLC portal in Genzibar. Okay, so basically I've already logged in. You'll notice I'm logged in here. I've already clicked on the faculty tab. I'm on the faculty welcome page. Now in the faculty course center, which is right here, you're just going to see your courses. With the login I'm using, I've actually got access to all the courses. Uh, but you're just going to see your list of courses here. Now to get to the course that I want to get to, I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, full faculty course center by going to the view more options link and then I'm on the correct term for summer 2015 and then I'm going to go to the this page here which is uh, where the TLC 101 course would be located and I'm going to scroll down the page here's the course now once again you're not going to have to go through this process as much because you're going to have a short list of courses and you can just select the one you want. But next to the course that you want to enter the grades for, go over to the right and on the pull down, go down to grade entry. That will take you to the update student grades page in the faculty course center. Okay, now one nice thing here with the first pull down you see is that you can jump between courses. And when you click on it, you're going to see your other courses. Once again, I'm seeing all courses, but you would just see your list of courses. So you can go in and enter the grades for one course and then jump over to another course real easily here. Okay. The next pull down is a place where you can enter in a default grade. And this is really handy for midterms because for the most part, most of your students are going to be passing and you can go in here and select P for passing and then you would click the set default grade button. Now before I do that I want to show you the grades. You notice the midterm grade column and I do have a pull down that has the full range of grades. Now for midterms we just use failing midterm, not attending, or passing. Now instead of having to select each one of these and put a P in here I can go up here and use the set default grade and put a P in for everybody and then I would just change the few that I need to change. Okay, I do have one withdrawn student at the bottom and I will need to put in the last date of attendance for that student. And you'll so you'll notice that uh, next to the midterm pull down there is a white space showing up on some of these here. It's actually there on each of them. That is where the grade actually appears. So when I've set the default grade, I'm going to go ahead and click that. Okay, now after I hit the set default grade button, the page is reloaded, and you'll notice as I scroll down that I now have P's in front of all the students who are passing. Okay, in front of every student actually. And if I have somebody who's failing midterm or not attending, those I'll need to go in and put a different entry for those. And I can do that by selecting I'll do not attending for this one, and I'll do failing midterm for this one. Now, for those two, I need to put in last dates of attendance as well as for the students who were drawn from the course. Now to do that, I have to go over here to the last date of attendance column and you'll notice that it is showing December 31st, 1899 entered in for all of these students. There's a glitch in the system and that's being uh, worked on by Genzibar. You may not see this entry for all of your students, but the uh, glitch started sometime just before the end of the spring semester. And when this course was populated with these dummy students, it had a last day of attendance for each of them entered in. So basically, if I delete these, and then for the person who's failing midterm, I'll put down, now I have to scroll clear down here to get to 2015. So I'm going down here and 2015 and I need to go to July and I'm going to make July 1st the last date of attendance for that person who's failing midterm and then I need to delete this one 
and then under snowman shuffles not attending I'm going to go over here and select once again I have to scroll clear down to 2015 July 2nd for that student and the withdrawn student I also need to have a last date of attendance for so I'll go to 2015 July and I know July 6 was the last date that that student attended so I'm going to go ahead and click Save and then you'll notice it's updating the page and it will reload the page without the pull down uh, menus and here is my um, page you'll notice I've got passing failing midterm and not attending grades entered there and it did keep the dates for these two students it brought back the 1899 dates and at this point I'm not sure there's much we can do about that also you'll notice that the withdrawn student it put in the old date for so once again there that's a glitch that Jinzabar is going to have to fix and uh, uh, that hopefully that will be updated in the near future. Okay, if I notice that I have something I need to correct here, like maybe um, I've, another student is failing midterm or something, uh, and I need to change something, I can go back to the grade entry page by clicking on the Update Student Grades link in the um, breadcrumb trail right here. And that'll take me back to this page and where I can update any information I need to update. Okay, I've switched over to my mail. And this is what an email would look like from the Genzabar system. It's going to come from the CARS database super user. That's what's going to show up in the from or from the sender uh, entry here. And then you'll notice that it lists what the course name is, the ID for it, the term, who submitted the grades, and the date they were processed. Below that's going to show um, the changes that were made. Now I've done several changes to this doing the demo. And the first one I entered in, a P for everybody and saved it. And you'll notice all six students in the class were saved. Now, it does not show the withdrawn student here. Okay? It's showing the ones that were received the grades. And it shows the grade here under the grade header. And these are a little jagged because of the font that's being used. Um, if you're using a fixed width font, the columns should line up on your computer. Now, on the right hand side, under action is showing that these have been changed. Okay, the first email here in the list is where I went in and made changes and I made uh, failing midterm an entry and not attending an entry for two of the students. And it's showing those last day of attendance for those students. And it's showing that they were changed. Now it doesn't show the other four students in the class nor the withdrawn student. It just shows the students that were changed in that session. Okay, so that's what those sample emails look like.